are welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Here we have a huge function to take a derivative. So first we look at the problem right here. First special I have something to the sixth power and the function of e to the large exponent. So it's very clear we have one function right here and multiply the second function. We have a function times a function take a derivative. First formula we have to use well in the product rule. Let's have function g times f times g that's going to be take a derivative the first one times the second function. Plus keep the first function times the derivative of second. Right, so let's do this first. So the first I have to do is take a derivative of this one right here. And a this. That's my first part. First part, the derivative of first function f, I keep my g. Then plus, we're going to keep the first square plus 3x to the sixth power. And times we take the derivative of e now let's start from the left side right here so here we have power of six we cannot use the power rule since we have a our base is a function. So if this is happening, we have to use the uh, and take the derivative of a function to the nth power. Right, so we're going to use the power rule. Move the n in front, then we're going to do a n minus 1 for the exponent. Then multiply the derivative of the base function. So here, we're going to do the same, so we're going to bring the 6 in front, and we're going to times, in, decrease by 1, so 6 minus 1 is 5. We have to keep the same base, then times the derivative of inside, derivative inside. That's going to be derivative of x squared, that's going to be 2x, derivative of 3x, that's going to be 3. And multiply 2x plus 3. And we're just going to copy down the e we have right here. Now we finish our left side. We are working on my right side right here. So first part, x squared plus 3x to the 6th part. We don't have to do anything. Now we have to work on the e. So e to the x, we know that. Take a derivative will be itself. However, if we have a function for the exponent for the e, we're going to do keep the e to the u, the function on the top, then multiply the derivative of that. So what we're going to get right here is we're going to keep this exactly the same. Then multiply the derivative of this. I'm going to close right here. Clearly we have a fraction right here. Can we write this part right here? So this is sine. Inside is a function cosine of x over lm x squared plus 1. But we're going to use a quotient rule for this part. 
So remember our quotient rule is if we have a function, say f of x over g of x, when we do the quotient rule, it's so very important that we square here, we're going to know that, then which function go first? So I would like to do the derivative of f first times the g because I want to remember that the first function I take a derivative is the numerator function. So I do that first. Then we're going to subtract. We keep the numerator function unchanged. Then take derivative of my denominator function. Let's follow the, the way I write it right here. So we're going to do this first. We square the ln. Now we're going to take a derivative of sine of cosine of x. Then times the denominator. The denominator I have is ln x squared plus 1. Now we're going to do all the way subtract. I keep the first one sine of cosine of x times derivative of that. So derivative of ln x squared plus 1 derivative. Let's work on this one first. So when we take the sine of x, derivative of sine x, we will get cosine x. However, if we have a function in the side, we have to follow the chain rule. The chain rule says we're going to do the outside function first, which is cosine of whatever inside. Then times inner function derivative. So here our inner function is cosine x. We're going to erase follow the formula right here. What we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this. Since the derivative of sine is cosine, I have that. We keep everything the same right now. But we have to take the derivative of the inside function of cosine of x. So we're going to get cosine of a, cosine of cosine of x times the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. That's it. We get this part done. Now we have to finish the ln. As everybody knows that, if I only do a ln of x, the derivative will give us 1 over x. However, if we have function inside length of u, we have to, to follow the original one right here, so 1 over u. Then we have to follow the chain rule. Outside functions length, we're going to get a fraction. Then we're going to times the derivative of inside. Derivative inside. Following this, we have a length of x squared plus 1. First, I'm going to get 1 over function inside, function inside x squared plus 1. So we're going to get 1 over x squared plus 1. And multiply inside the derivative, which is x squared plus 1. So the final answer will be derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. Derivative 1 is 0, that's 2x over x plus 1. Now we finish everything for the derivatives. Plugging back those into the, the solution we had before. Then that's going to be the derivative of this very complicated one, but we just
just revealed all the definitions we've learned before and all kinds of functions we learned before on the semester. Thank you.